Yummy, 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 yummy. So yummy. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. I already know that there's a lot of water still. I know, I know. Sit back, let me show you how I made it. Okay. So guys, already in the pot I have chicken. Remember the chicken I told you we bought from the bazaar we did in our church the other day. So this is it. So I've probably washed it and I've added inside the pot with the stock fish. I added stock fish together because it has cooking time with the chicken. The chicken is a strong one, okay? And the stock fish is a strong one too. So I just added some salt, two not cube for seasoning, and then scotch bonnet pepper. Yeah, this scotch bonnet pepper is so hot. So I'm adding just one. I'm adding onion. You know, normally we don't use onion to cook uh, offensive, but because it's chicken, I have to add onion. Okay. And we're not going to be adding uh, curry and thyme. Of course, we're not cooking stew. <laughs> yeah, we're not making stew or sauce. It's soup that we're making, white soup for that matter, offensive. So on the other side of the pot now, I just boiled water that we used to call out the catfish acupuncture because I'm using uh, catfish. Yeah. <laughs> So I added water that we used to stiffen the catfish that we using. So back to the chicken. Remember, I didn't add water. I left it to cook for 15 minutes to bring that its own sauce. Okay, and this is 15 minutes. You can see the sauce down there in the pot. But right now, I'll be adding water enough to cook the meat. Okay, the chicken. You know, the ano kalaka chicken is is a strong one, not just the um, soft one. Okay. So I added two cups of water, enough to cook the chicken and the stock fish. I'll now cover and allow it to cook proper. Behind the camera, I've already peeled and cut the yam that I'll be using for thickening the soup. Okay, I was able to get yam this time around. So I've cut and washed it and I'm adding it inside the pot now, as you can see. <laughs> I've made a video that I, I prepared the oven salad too, but with pando yam, okay? Instead of using the yam, the cooked yam, I used pando yam because I couldn't find the yam, okay? So I added it in and then covered to cook. So over to the other burner, the water has boiled. I'll be adding in the water inside the fish. Note, I've washed the fish proper with lemon. I washed it like three times with salt and lemon. The essence of washing it with lemon and salt is to remove every slimy part of it, okay? So I'll remove the fish after 5 minutes. This is just to stiffen the fish so that it will not scatter inside the pot, okay? So I'll be using umorozoza. This is umorozoza. I forgot what it's called in English, but I will search and put it in the description box. By this time, the yam is well cooked now. So I have to scoop it out and then blend with blender. If you have mortar, please use mortar, okay? I don't have mortar, so <laughs> I'm using blender. I can't come and stress myself. So, guys, you don't know what happened. I know I put in uh, six pieces of yam. So, this is five. I started looking for the, the other one. I didn't see it. After so many minutes, I had to leave it like that, I beg, and continue my cooking. <laughs> so, at the end of the cooking that I now saw the the remaining one and i ate it oh my goodness the test yummy i'm telling you so i've added all the yam inside the blender and i'll be adding in the water this is to give it that yummy taste i don't want to add another water feel free to add another water okay and no this is not the blender i use for my juice you know i have two blenders so this is the smaller blender that's what i'm using so i just added in a dried fish i wash it with hot water and salt and deboned it okay in sense of washing the washing the fish with salt and the hot water is to remove every sand and yama yama in the fish so now i added the blended uh, okay <laughs> and then the grounded uh, crayfish i use just one cube just one and then at least of the blender i use it blending the scotch bonnet pepper remember for the chicken okay i don't want to add in another pepper if i add another pepper that means my my kids will not eat it okay so the black thing you saw is a fermented locust beans that is the chef Ubo, the chairman of the occasion <laughs> it will take it will take the soup to another level and then sort the test okay 
I still well to combine introducing them to one another. Guys, na na food they are poor. They are The egg. The chicken was pregnant when my baby child ate. <laughs> so sorry for that. So I cut it to cook for five minutes and after then I added the blended the uh, yam. You can see how it's looking. Yeah, so I added just a little portion and see how it will be, be like before adding more because I don't want the soup to be so thick. So I have to be controlling it. Guys, can you hear the sound of the soup? No The soup is dancing cookery. Kukere, kukere. I get the money. Kukere, kukere. <laughs> Guys, don't mind me, please. So I stir well and then cover to cook. So I had to check it after five minutes. The consistency or the consistency, and then I see that it needed the more yam, the blended yam. So I had to add the remaining one. So I'll cover and allow to go for five minutes before adding a uh, catfish. Yeah. So this is five minutes. It's all the suffering. I will still work to combine and then go ahead with the fish. As you can see, the consistency is now okay. Now at this aqua, this this aqua okona for air. It is making me laugh. So I just added the the catfish. And then still well. You can see the way I'm saying it very gently so that the fish will not scatter inside the soup. Okay. So I'll now cover to cook for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I added the tas leaf. The tas leaf is a bit bitter, but I have to wash it off because I don't want the bitterness inside the soup. But if you like the bitterness, you can feel free to add it in like that, okay? So after adding in the bitter leaf, I'll cover to cook for five minutes so that I'll allow the tasleaf to release its flavor inside the soup, okay? Shout out to all my new subscribers. I'm glad to have you all here. To my returning OGs, lovely sisters, you guys are the best. Thank you for always coming back to watch my video and keeping the channel engaged. Thank you so much. Remember not to skip the ads, okay? Please, it's very, very important. <laughs> okay, guys. And if you've watched this moment and if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Subscription is free, it doesn't cost anything. I'm a part of this beautiful family. You will love it here, trust me, okay? <laughs> so after carefully stirring it, I cover to cook. And then after five minutes, I open it. You can see our soup is really dancing and bubbling, okay? This is me adding the Ozoza leaf, the final part of it. Guys, you know that this Uzza leaf is so medicinal. So I also leave it to cook for five minutes to release its flavor. And then the soup is all ready. Our soup is almost ready as you can see. <laughs> guys, are you guys seeing the pork? The chicken leg. You guys are seeing it, right? <laughs> guys, I like this soup choke. It choke, it choke. The aroma of the soup have overshadowed everywhere. Guys, after making this for your hobby or your boom, I promise you, it will leave a steady cut for you. So I test and everything is well combined. So I cover to cook for another three minutes and our soup is all ready. Ta -da! Our yummy fofi and sour white fruit soup is all ready to consume. Bring any fufu of your choice. Shout out to Nengi Willy, our YouTube creator. Today is her birthday, so guys, let's wish her a happy birthday. Thank you for watching to this moment. I love you guys. See you in my next video. Ciao. Bye. -a.